looking back, you caught me there. <laughs> he used his school's document storage while drooling into his porridge. <laughs> storage and porridge, you don't get that on Dateline. Once again, President Biden finds himself between a dock and a hard place. Oh, wow. <laughs> that makes me sick inside. Writers were up late. Later. Yeah, they were. <laughs> Which means it must be time for Docs keep on slipping, slipping, slipping to the wrong viewer. I don't care, it's illegal. You gotta let them see. Please make it legal. Let my documents be free. Gotta let them free. I have to point out that that's Gene singing and Gene doing that. And Gene goes, hey, I think I did something pretty good or it's okay, you wanna take a look at it? It's your best thing ever! Yeah. <laughs> Gene. Having said that, most of his stuff sucks, so. <laughs> All right, where am I? But this time, for Joe, it's his senatorial records. Back in 2012, then VP Biden arranged to have a large collection of his documents housed at the University of Delaware. That's a college cat. They're actually on the same shelf as his award for best plagiarist. <laughs> at the time, he was considering running for president, and by moving the docs to the school, they effectively been hidden from the press and remained off the public's radar until now. That's when we show them. Oh, yeah, just kidding. <laughs> to date, the university still claims they have yet to organize and catalog them all, but it appears they're stalling like a one-legged man driving a stick shift. <laughs> <laughs> but why are the documents secret in the first place? What could be in there? A list of the best 10 heads of hair he sniffed? <laughs> a recipe for head and shoulders flavored ice cream? That sounds good, actually. I love that smell. Joe's already proven how careless he could be with classified docs in his own home. Isn't it much of a stretch to imagine more classified material that may be lurking in his university, coll in university collection? What does Joe think about this? No, no, look, look, I, I take classified documents seriously. I not only take them seriously, I take them to the beach. And I take them in my car. And I take them to the University of Delaware. You know why I like classified documents so much? I like the way they smell. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Cat, two part question, or maybe it's one part. I don't really know. Is this worse than Watergate or water polo? <laughs> I think water polo is worse than Watergate. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> No one can really watch water polo, seriously. Where do you put the cameras? No. Um, all right, well, now that we've just established that. <laughs> I, I just, I, 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 it, there's been so many of these that I'm getting kind of confused mm -hmm. about like which, how many rounds have there been now? And I spend most of my waking hours at Fox News headquarters. Yes, you do. So if I don't know, then I feel like a lot of people have probably lost track. Uh, it's just very funny and when you put it next to, we're trying to be, like, we're the most transparent. We're trying to be transparent, being as transparent as possible. It's like, no, you're not. There's nothing stopping you from opening this stuff up to an outside review. You don't need, like, a transparency genie to do that. You can just do that. I'm curious, too, and I also wish that I could classify stuff. Mm, that would be awesome. Yeah, like, some, like, I like, you know, I, I'm, I write things. I journal things. I would like to be like, oh, that's classified. And if you read or you snoop my stuff, you go to jail. Mm, that's very good. I would support that 100%. So, yeah, that's why I'm, I, I, maybe I will run for president. Yes. I'm 100% behind oh. trans. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas, do you get the sense that the Bidens, in a way, are exactly what they accuse the Trumps of, of being is, and doing? Could it be that for, like, 50 years, this guy has been, not, been, been nothing but a corrupt joke or a clown, but he just... Like well, everyone's, everyone's kind of giving up on it now, aren't they? Because as Kat says, it's hard to keep a track of it. It seems yeah. like everyone has documents they shouldn't have. Um, in, when Mike Pence turned out to have some stuff the other day, he like, volunteered it up and it got hardly any coverage. Because everyone's like, oh, just everyone seems to have done it. Yeah. I'll tell you what I think is going on here. The National Archives... I spoke to a friend who was in government a little while ago, and he said he thinks this is what it is. National Archives have been annoyed for a long time about people like being too free with classified documents, and they're putting their foot down now. 
This is the first time in history we've seen what happens when librarians get angry. <laughs> <laughs> when they come after you, Greg, this is, this is what you see. A bloodbath. Yes. Total bloodbath. Republicans, Democrats, no one survives. Yeah. They're gonna shush the <laughs> out of you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jimmy, it kills me that... I, then I have to always take the media, the media side uh, of this, which is they hounded the Trumps over... Their tax returns. Yep. Tax returns come out. Turns out he wasn't. He didn't make any money. I think while he was president. Yeah, it looked bad. They, there was nothing there, and yet that goes away. And yet there is no desire for anybody in the media to actually go there and find out what's there. Well, the reason they're done with this story, and this is the reason they hate Biden, is he took away their angle to prosecute Trump. Mm. In doing that was the whole their latest sexual fantasy was Trump in handcuffs mm. because of classified information. Right. You know what I mean? This is if you look at like Pornhub in like Democratic cities, that's the number one search engine is like Trump in handcuffs. Mm. But it is. But so the media is just done with it. But the people who are still talking about it are making it worse. Like the University of Delaware tried to minimize the story and made it worse because they said, well, we can't release the documents yet because we're still organizing and classifying them. Yo, it was 14 years ago. Yes. How many documents does this have that it took 14 years? <laughs> yeah. But then the other problem is like poor KJP still has to talk about it and she's just stupid, you yeah. know? KJP thinks transparent is a man who has a baby. Yes. She has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that was funny, didn't I you? I thought that was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Moro! <laughs> Once in a while it happens. Do you, um, you, so you're a lawyer, obviously. A lawyer. You're a lawyer. Where, uh, what, what, what can we do? Can we sue to see these things? Can I sue to see things? But that means I might have to go to Delaware. I'm frankly not interested. Sure, you can sue. You won't win, but you no. can try it. Um, I don't suggest you go to Delaware because yeah. he's got a lock on that uh, entire state. I mean, he runs that state like uh, the Corleone family. What's the story? Uh, yeah. he's, he's like Ben Gazzara in Roadhouse, man. I mean, he's got it, he's got it all locked up. Ben Gazzara in Roadhouse. I, I a little reference for you. Him. Corleone's. He's the godfather, but he made a guy an offer he can't remember making. That's, why. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, and, and, and just fortunately for all of us, that's exactly where the investigation is to the whole hunter things so you know i have great faith in that now right yeah but at what point did we all decide did we all vote on the idea that we were going to turn america's university system over to joe biden mm -hmm. to use as his own personal safe deposit box you got this thing here right you got the university of pennsylvania which has the biden center which has all that Chinese funny money, you got all the other classified documents with there. I mean, what's the story with that? So you can't get any of that stuff to Cat's point. You can't FOIA that stuff, Freedom of Information Act. You're not going to get that from a college. And 14 years to categorize and, <laughs> and, and put in one place what? His old Maxim magazines? What were the vice presidential <laughs> documents like from back then? Yeah, I mean, really. Trump just had Melania's wardrobe. To yes. He, this guy's got the whole of Delaware. Yeah, yeah, he's he's really got it locked down. So I'm afraid to drive through that state. He's just got a vault of wigs. Okay, who shoes. among us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but they're adolescent wigs, cat. He loves the adolescent wigs. <laughs> Smelling them. <laughs> Are there adolescent wigs? I, I don't know. That's Sounds like a punk band. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess we got to move on.